What's up, YouTube? My name is Bedivere. Welcome to an episode of Zero to Hero. Today, we are going to dive back into our Factorio playthrough. As always, if you enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button, click the subscribe button as well if you haven't already, as well as that little notification bell to stay up to date with new videos. If you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one content, I do stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash Bedivere. If you have any comments, suggestions, or even questions on any strategy game that I might play, I do play a variety of them, not just Factorio. You can go ahead and hang out over there. We'll start building a great community over there. I'm really excited to see how far it goes. All right. In, t in the last video, uh, we, we, we went through some troubles. Um, we died. We died. We had a funeral. It was lovely. <laughs> Not really, but uh, we did we did die. Our our biters were a little bit too hot for us to handle. We we made a big dent. So this this biter base was probably as big as as this. And I think going forward, it's going to be pretty hard to manage. You know these pretty dense big biter bases over here. So we're going to do something called turret creep, um, but using l laser turrets um, and. We laid down this preliminary blueprint of a wall right here that we're gonna have wrap around all the way here and probably go to this lake if this lake continues down and there's no split. Um, but it looks like the closest power connection point is gonna be from this mine over here. And then we'll just place down our, um, our power poles in the positions that they would be anyways going down here. And then we'll try to laser laser turret creep into the trees. Uh, one thing that we will need in order to clear those trees is gonna be more grenades and hopefully more ammo as well. Um, oh, I need to create a machine gun because I only have a pistol now that I died. All right, so we'll go back down. Uh, we'll actually follow our rails as we always seem to forget to do. And then we still gotta, still gotta upgrade our copper, but we can't add a, a mine until we actually defend ourselves from the biter attacks that will undoubtedly happen from uh, the extra pollution. Let's go ahead and add 400 grenades. And then just probably, probably some more. We can probably just walk down walk down this entire thing there we go walk down that entire thing and then the reason why i don't have piercing rounds is because they're getting used for the gray science so hopefully we'll get a little bit of backup there uh let's go ahead and what, what, what do we need for, to make this uh 10 iron plate gears and copper all right, shouldn't be too hard. We'll grab some copper from here. And then iron plate from here. There we go, submachine gun. We will get rid of these bad boys. And then also get rid of this thing. Move our submachine gun to there. Oops. No. There we go. And then press C to destroy that. Cause we don't need we don't need pistols in our game. Alright. Let's hop in our car. Uh and do we have long power poles? Yes we do. And we have a bunch of substations. All we need now is laser turrets. And we got a thousand thousand laser turrets nice okay so we'll go up here and we will take a power pole from the beginning let's see from up here and we will drive west to our wall whoops it's not in line And this is why we brought grenades. 
to deal with this stuff. Uh, actually, let's stay in our car. Uh, where is it going to be even? Right there. Let's actually go out a bit. All right, and let's get rid of these trees before placing down our substation. Here we go. Got our substation in place. Now we just need to slowly but surely delete all the trees and add the substations when needed. Uh, I'll go ahead and skip to the end of this part to where we actually deal with the biters so that you guys don't have to sit through the misery of dealing with trees so i'll be right back all right so we made it down and we are super close to the biters here so what i'm going to do this is how turret creep works you place down turrets and then they come and attack you add more power and more turrets and then you just creep down Oh, I need, I need to place this one. There you go. Why isn't this working? Oh, because of that. Okay, I need, I need to get away from my blueprint because it's messing with my power. There we go. That should be, should be everything. And that was easy. Okay, there's another, there's a worm down here. There we go. And then you just delete as you go back up. And this is so much easier with bots too. But we, we died and we, we missed our bots. Oh, but well we're decently close to our body. So we might be able to get everything back. If it hasn't, if it hasn't despawned yet. So we'll just go ahead and delete everything because we won't need this part anymore. We'll make sure to go up to our car and then we'll find, we'll find our body. Cause our body should be like right around here. So we'll just keep going down. Oh. Laser turret that I forgot. Grenades. And we'll just kind of make a hole for us. grenades any more oh let's try not to kill ourselves okay actually let's let's see if we how much more room we need uh might need to go one more yeah, let's go one more. Actually, let's undo that. So I don't want to run into the same issue we ran into last time where our power lines weren't weren't syncing up all right. Oh, there's a spitter. Oh, I don't have any ammo. That's why. I was like, I was pressing, <laughs> I was pressing, I was pressing spacebar and like nothing was happening. I'm like, am I close enough? 
I don't have I don't have any ammo. I just have it on me. Uh, I guess I can split that because I won't need too much of it on my own person. Uh, let's go ahead and split that again. Whoops. No. I need less on my own person and more in the car. So that's what that's what I did there. And then let's get out of the car. Bring our no power pulls down. Let's see if this part will work. There we go. Okay, so we're getting we're getting fighters aggroed. Stepped in, stepped in spitter stuff. Here we go. Kill those things. Kill that base. Oh, and there's another biter base coming. Okay, so let's deal with these guys first. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, more grenades to clear some trees. There we go. And then lasers to deal with the spitters. More grenades though. Probably should have brought fish to help heal. There we go. Now that's done. That little sp spitter base is done. Or worm base, I guess. I guess they're worms. Uh, and then we'll take care of this base too. But we got a lot. We got a lot of progress to go. Let's add another line here. Line of defense. Let's get rid of the trees here. Just to help us see. Okay, so we're gonna deal with those spitter or those biters. Let's just add. Whoops, trees in the way. Oh. And then hopefully we can grab our body, and along with it, our our bots. Okay, so let's branch off and go this way. Why can't you? Oh, there you can. Yeah, that's a line. That's a line right there. Okay. Whoa, okay. This is where we kind of go. There we go. Let's just keep on pushing forward with more and more. Let's not step in step in on any of the spit there we go just keep plowing our way through but like I said in order to do this you need a lot of power so that I'm, I'm happy that we we fixed all that stuff oh there we go is the body still here anywhere Where's our body? Where's our body? Body, where are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping. Oh, uh, if it's not, then cleaning up all of these is going to suck because they take a long time. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we're I think it despawned. Alright, well at least we got rid of them. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and delete all these and I will let you know when we're done. I'll uh 
I'll skip ahead. All right. So finished deconstructing everything. I also added one more section of blueprint to come down. So that should clear everything essentially. Let's just double check on the map real quick. If we add here, yeah, that'll give us plenty of room. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna shift click. There we go. Going that way, that way we have, we also have two flamethrowers covering this corner here, which is ideal. And then we'll just, let's just add like a little pipe like that just to solidify it. And then I don't think I have my walls with me. Where's my car? Oh, it's up, up here. Let's grab our car. I think I got some walls on me. Oh, no, I don't. That was on my past body. But what we can do, since this corner is probably going to get the most attention from the biters, we can go ahead and add, add some lazy turrets while we're here. I think two rows should be good enough to hold them off just for a little bit. And that'll just kind of help protect this corner. Just while, just while we're here. Um, let's go ahead, go to our grenades. Need to clear out these trees now. And then what I'm gonna do, I don't think we have any more biter bases. Yeah, we don't have any more biter bases until we get to this section over here. So I'm just gonna keep on laying down these walls until we get to this section here and then I'll uh, and then I'll get back with you guys and we'll do a little bit more turret creep, okay? So I'll be back. All right, so I played some of the power poles and we came across a couple of these biter bases. This one looks small enough to where we can handle it with our car and our grenades. Oh, but it leads to a bigger one. Never mind. I guess we'll just take care of this little base here. All right, so that's taken care of. Let's place down another blueprint. And I also added a couple radars here to try and uh, scope out what the area looks like. So let's ditch the car. Get, so, uh, I don't know why the why there's a bug like that. Placing down these substations has never been or not never but recently has not been correct oh crap oh crap oh okay no 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 talking and and fighting at the same time my out of substations Oh my god, I am. How am I, how am I gonna do this? Uh, just the small power poles, I guess. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jesus, how ratchety is that? Phew, okay, jeez. Uh, well, I probably should have known that I was out of substations, so I'm gonna clean this up, go get some radars, go place them down along here, insert these substations as well, and then and then we'll go from there, and then I'll place radars down down here as well. Okay, so I'll see you guys, see you guys back in a little bit, but that was, that was gnarly. All right, okay, so here's our last little biter base within our borders. I did a little bit of scouting and found out that this lake actually does go all the way across. So this is the last little bit. So I figured I'd show you guys how we take care of it. All right. 
let's add let's add a line here there we go here they come all right let's go let's get after it all right keep going keep going keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing Okay, so that's the southern part done. Let's push all the worms up here. And then last but not least, boom. And that's how you do it. All right. So now it's time to, to delete everything. <laughs> all right, let me, let me delete all this. I'll be back. All right, so we added the last of our power poles as well as you know, the blueprints for our wall. And this is what our south our southwestern wall is gonna look like. And we're gonna do the same thing for this wall up here. Obviously it'll be a little bit different, uh, just because there's less there's less biters and that'll take that'll be a little bit less time consuming. Uh but there is like there's still a decent amount of trees. Uh but that's kind of the process that I like to go to. You know, you clear out some biters, play some radars, and what we're gonna do maybe not in this episode, but maybe once we actually set up our mining, we will have bots automatically uh, and dynamically uh, build this entire structure as well as repair any of it that gets damaged. Um, we only have, let's see, we only have like 24 of our substations. So I wanna try and conserve those as much as possible. But we did, we cleared out the biters. Uh, I have biter expansion off. So there's not gonna be any new bases that will spawn inside that line. Obviously that line isn't closed, it's just ghosts. So we still need to actually put down the walls, put down the defenses to prevent the biters from coming in. But we cleared ourselves a little bit, a little bit more space. We got, we're getting close here. Um, but one thing we do need to do is set up our mining. Maybe not start it, but at least set it up. And I think our next step here, actually, before we do that, is going to be extending our rail network, or at least the ghost of it, down. Uh, let's go to our rails four-way straight that like that boom and we're going to need to go back to our mall get some walls and start walling off our our base and at least put like one line of of laser turrets down on the south side There we go. Yeah, and this substation is actually gonna be a tad of an issue. Let's put this one here. That one there. I'll just put that one there that's fine but it's this thing it's yeah it's this flamethrower turret that's that's off so let me cut that replace those put those here and obviously it's a little bit of an exception because you don't want you want everything to be tileable, right? So this is going to be, like I said, a little bit of an exception just because it's where everything merges together. And it's like here, the pipe should be... How far can they reach? They can go there. Okay. That's perfectly fine. We'll add our rails just across the wall. There we go. And everything's... Nice and snug. Do we have any, I don't think we have any gates, but we can add the, the ghosts for the gates here. Perfect. All right, 
Let's clear, clear these trees. And let's bring the power poles back up. And man, I really want my robots back so I can, they can at least help a little bit. You know what I mean? But actually, why don't we finish our, our yellow signs? Will we have time? I might do that in the in the next episode because I think this is this was a good revenge revenge for last episode for killing our body. So we took revenge upon the biters. We claimed a lot of this land, you know. But that that was the big part of it. This episode was you know clearing all the land and adding all the radars and all that stuff and all the power um, and kind of setting up the preliminary step for setting up a big big defensive wall so this is this is going to be a little bit shorter of an episode our revenge to the biters and i think in the next episode let's uh let's go in let's go in deep i might want to start this yellow science because if we go to our tech tree yellow science is required to build the port portable fusion reactor um it also we also need um blue circuits to make to make science where's where's our yellow science um right here so the recipe requires blue circuits to make to make yellow science and blue circuits are also used in let's see here in power armor so i think that might be a good investment is to set up our yellow science so that we can research things for power armor get an actual suit big 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 boy suit of armor with with lots of lots of robo ports or personal robo ports and um, those nuclear portable fusion reactors, and then I want to get also personal robo port um, Mark II with the logistics system. We're going to need a lot of those as well, uh, and then it'll also allow us to upgrade our energy weapons even further, which will be super nice. So I think we'll we'll do that in the next episode, but. As always, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to smash that like button, click the subscribe button as well if you haven't already, as well as the little notification bell down here to stay up to date with all new content on the channel. If you have any questions or suggestions on how you want this playthrough to go, be sure to leave your comment in the comments down below and I'll be sure to comment back when I can. Uh, if you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one content, maybe a live reaction, live question, be sure to hop into my Twitch chat when I go live every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash betterbeer. Link to that as well as all my other socials, including Twitter and Instagram in the description down below. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for me for today. Have a good one. Stay safe. Peace.